Hi and Assalamualaikum. Today we continue with uh, last subtopic of reproduction, plant reproduction. Okay, first we uh, study about structure and function of each part of a flower. This is a uh, pistil, the female part of a flower. Pistil consists of stigma, style, ovary, and ovule. And the male part of a flower is stamen. Stamen consists of anther and filament. Uh, there are two types of flowers. One is bisexual flowers and another one is unisexual flowers. So bisexual flowers is the flower that uh, consists both male and female uh, parts. Uh, for example, hibiscus here. Mustard flower and also rose flower. This is an example of unisexual um, flower. Uh, for example, papaya plant, it consists of male flower and female flower. The flower are different uh, at different uh, tree. Okay, this is uh, male flower and this one is female flower. Another example of unisexual flower is corn plant. Okay, that's the male flower and female flower. The function of flower in a plant is actually to carry out pollination. So what is pollination? Pollination is a process of transferring matured pollen grains from anther to stigma. There are two types of pollination, self pollination and cross pollination. Self pollination occur when pollen grains are transferred to stigma of the same flower or pollen grains are transferred to the stigma of another flower on the same plant. And cross pollination occur when pollen grains are transferred to the stigma of another flower on the different plant of the same species. Okay, so for the pollination to take part, it needs pollinating agent. Transfer of pollen grains can be done by insects or animals. Uh, like here, we have birds. The pollen grain usually stick on the big or body of the animal. Uh, here we have butterfly. When the insect lands on a flower to suck the nectar, pollen grain will stick to its furry feet and body. Here we have bees. The characteristic of animal pollinated and insect pollinated flowers uh, have big and colorful petals, have nectar and smell nice. Okay, another type of pollinating agent are water and wind. Here we have the wind. The characteristic of wind pollinated flower, it has white or pale petals. Uh, and have long and furry stigma. Uh, have plenty of small, smooth and light pollen grain. Okay, advantages of cross-pollination are healthier plants which can adapt better to changes in the environment, new varieties of plants, new plants are more resistant to the pest and disease, and produce good quality of seeds. 
Okay, these are advantages of cross pollination. The application of cross pollination in agriculture has been widely used to produce better crops with higher quality. So these are example of innovation of cross pollination in agriculture. Uh, we have here palm oil with the parent plants Pisipera and Yura to produce hybrid plant Tenera. Papaya, we have Subang 6 and Sunrise Solo and the hybrid plant Exotica. The parent plants for corn is sweet corn from Taiwan and Mexico and the hybrid is my, Masmadu. And for paddy, we have Siam 29 and Pebby Fun to produce Malenja paddy. After pollination, fertilization will occur. When pollen grain fall onto stigma, pollen tube carrying male gamete grows toward the ovary. After the pollen tube penetrates the ovule, the male gamete fuses with the female gamete. This is fertilization process occur. After fertilization, the ovule grows inside the ovary and then develops into seeds. See the function of structure of seeds. Testa to protect the seed. Micropile is a small hole to allow air and water to enter the seed. Hilum is placed where the seed sticks to the fruit. Plumo is part of embryo which develops into a new shoot. Radical parts of the embryo which develops into the root. And cotyledon to stores and provides food for the seed. There are two types of germination of seed. In epigeal germination, cotyledon are carried out of the soil. Okay, the cotyledon are out of the soil. And in hypogeal germination, the cotyledon remains in the soil during germination. The condition required for germination of seeds are water, air, and suitable temperature. Okay, so that's all for this topic, reproduction. So thank you for watching. Bye.